beautiful people. Hey, Amy. Hey, Amy, love. Hey, youngs out there. Today, we're going to make a homemade incubator. Incubator. Oh, wait, where's my, where'd my eggs go? Where'd my eggs go? Oh, they're right here. Um. <laughs> so, I really want to hatch some quail eggs because it's actually something I really do want to invest in. Um, it's, I think it's, a, it'll be a good investment, but anyway, so I want to try hatching some and see if I can, if it works. Okay. Okay. Now Ken wants us to also try to hatch an Americana egg. So we're about to go out there and check for eggs because I've got some of their eggs, but they're in here on the counter and they've been in here for like a week and I, I well, I mean, daily but i want if i get an egg to hatch from one of them i want to make it a fresh egg these eggs that i'm ha gonna hatch here i got them in my basket i had it in um i had two of them inside this glove sitting in this basket and then ken gave me some more to try to hatch and one of them i got out of the cage today so i'm going to try to hatch these not in the basket, not in the basket. Hey, damn it, Danny. But before we do that, I think we need to go see if there's any blue eggs in the coop. Okay, y'all. I didn't have time to go check before. Well, actually, I have checked. I checked several. I checked for eggs several times a day. And, oh, let me lay that right there. It's only because sometimes your chickens, you, you'll have chickens and they'll be egg eaters so they'll eat your eggs before you can get to them to get them so i try to constantly look for eggs come on cow i know you want out that way um who's that sam come on y'all come on ace they they've got to follow me every time and sam just wants to go out here and chase my birds and he's gonna get in trouble because he has found one of their hiding spots or bird birds you know the ones that fly around outside come on ace you want to go outside no? Okay. Well, kiss my butt then. This is that homemade fan I was telling you about. It's down here on the ground. Y'all probably hear it blowing. Well, ah, it blows hard. Um, we got that because it's kind of keeping them cool. You know, in here. But yes, let's go look for some blue eggs, y'all. I hate coming out here. I'll start sweating in a minute. You gotta bend over to get into this coop. You got here. We're gonna just check every coop while we're out here. I know the far coop won't have any because none of those are laying. Although, watch, I say that and I'll have a surprise. Hey, I'm laying now. Um, let's see here. Leave them alone, Sam. Okay. I'm gonna set y'all up here for a second. Ain't no eggs up there. Sometimes I have a chicken that likes to lay on top of the coop and I don't know why. No eggs in here. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Hi, babies. What are you doing down there? Let's see here. Oh. I have my arm stuck in the thing. Hold on. I hope one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Y'all are good. I count my chickens. You gonna listen? You go and listen. Sam, leave him alone. <sighs> it's hot. But it looks like it's going to rain. We'll check in the silky. I already got one egg from the silky area this morning, but never hurts to check more than once. Okay. <sighs> Hey, Sam. Well, you ain't coming in here back up. You want to say hi? 
Back up. Back up. No, sir. Back up. Sam, no. Good boy. He's waiting for the day I allow him inside one of these coop areas. I don't know what he's thinking. Okay. Uh, no eggs. I wonder if Kenny already collected them. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, so no eggs. So I'm not adding no blue eggs in there today. Sam, cow, come on. So Sam. He's running crazy, y'all. Hey, Arrow. Lilith. Sorry if I didn't say y'all's names yet. There's another one brewing. Oh, she. Hey, boys. I mean, do you not know how to listen? I said let's go this way. Sam. They, they don't know how to listen, evidently. Sam looks for anything and everything he can get into. Just to make a mess. <laughs> Sam! It's hot. I, is the sun shining where all y'all live? Because it was shining here. It was like 90 degrees here today. But now it's kind of... Maybe it's because it's later in the day. But the sun just ain't out. It's almost cloudy. Sorry, I'm waiting on my dogs because they're not using their brain that they were born with. That when mama says it's time to go, it's time to go. So I have to wait on their time. Because they don't want to listen. I've got one rolling in the grass down there. I got cow over there next to the burn barrel. And Sam's over here next to the chicken coop. Dying to get in there. Hey, Sam. We are family. I don't know the words. Can't you see? We are hi babies. I don't know. Can you see myself? That hell that pan was that thing black thing down there. That was to a dog cage, but I had it blocking this area right here because the roosters like to fight each other through the cage. Like all the silky roosters get along. But when it comes to the other roosters with silky roosters, they'll fight through the cage. So I had that put up, but they've done knocked it down and they've done used it as their bathroom. So I'm going to have to worship pretty good over here. That's um, my little black rooster. He's under the coop that y'all hear. And there's my little white silky hen. Y'all hear his little crow? <laughs> and then I'm pretty sure this gray one's a rooster. Pretty positive. I just ain't heard it crow yet. Um, the big big rooster we had, like what that was the main one out of the bunch. We did get rid of him, but he was the one that was fighting with the other rooster through the fence, and he was getting hurt because Elvis can be ruthless. Okay, like poor boy had a trunk up the middle of his comb. Uh, where Elvis grabbed him through the fence where they were fighting. So that's why I had that black thing up trying to prevent them from fighting because I don't agree with them fighting. Even though it's through the fence, I just don't agree with it. Um, I don't know. That's just me. I don't like my animals fighting. I think it's horrible. It's just like your kids fighting. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. I was say, y'all better not be out of water again. I filled that son of a gun up three times already. First thing I did was fill it up this morning. Because I always do their food and water. And let them all out of the coop. And like an hour later, I came out here and the son of a gun was empty. I don't know how it was empty. But I need to get inside and make this incubator. So I wish you dogs would come on. Hey, Sam. Is she dead or just rolling in the dirt? Oh, she's just rolling laying in the dirt she's got her a hoe dug into the dirt one of the hens the hens like to burrow themselves down into dirt and stuff whenever they're hot and she wasn't moving <laughs> but 
but she's good. She moved when I started walking toward. Come on, Cal, let's go. Come on, Ace. Come on, Sam. Good boys. Good boy, Kekko. Good boy. Ready to go in? Come on, Sam. Hey, Sam. I don't mean to look for birds. Let's go. You waiting for another egg to be laid? Oh. <laughs> Just sit in there. You want to come in, Kyle? Come on. I don't care if you or Ace stay out, but Sam will take off on me the moment I turn my head. Come on. Let's go. Good boy, Sam. Good boy. Is a good boy? KK, you a good boy. You know it. You know it. You're my heart. I got to get my drink. Shayna. Shayana. Hi, Nick. Hi, Sam. And Cal. Hi, Arrow and Lewis. Hey, Amy. My Shayana. 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 Shayna. Madel. I don't know what that is, but I can agree. I don't want that. I want this. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I got to sweep my living room today, too, because there's dog hair. I, I see it in there. Starting to get thick. No. Sam is shedding like crazy, especially when you rub him. Like, you can just see his hair in spots. Okay. Y'all, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're going to make this. Um, let's see here. I took screenshots. <laughs> I got to pull them up somehow, some way, if my phone will quit freezing. I took screenshots last night of how to build an incubator. So hopefully this is going to help. I don't know if this box is big enough because it says something about a lamp. But it would be good to have whatever a turn neck lamp is. Um, I think um, I got this. I'm going to use and you've got to spray it. You, so you, I'll have to find a spray bottle. I know I got one somewhere. Um, you'll spray the eggs for the humidity. Um, I'm either going to use this or the heating pad in there. But I'm supposed to have it in frayed, in, in frayed whatever, thermometer, however you say it. And I ain't got that because the eggs need to be, they need to stay at like 100 degrees. Whenever, like, you put a thermometer on it, it needs to be at 100 degrees. So we're just going to guess, and we're going to see how this process works, y'all. And if it works, I'm going to be hatching all kinds. Let's see here. What am I doing? Why am I trying to share my screen? I need to find my directions. Screenshot. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Poke holes through the box, ensuring proper ventilation within the box. You will also have to ensure the lamp you have can deeply reach into the box. So, I, that's why I feel like this would be better. I don't know. Lay down some newspaper or cloth towels to the bottom of the box. I'm going to use, it's like a pee pad thing. I'm just going to use this. It's actually for the guinea pigs, but I'm not using it right now. So I'm just going to use this and see if it's going to work. You think? So? I don't know. <laughs> but let's, um, let's poke how many holes through the box, ensuring proper ventilation. Leah, she said, um, it's fine to tell y'all. She's um, not seen her grandkids 
um, a few of her grandkids in several years. Um, the mother, basically, Leah, uh, the mother couldn't get it. <laughs> the mother to the children was, like, letting Leah be involved in their life and stuff. As long as Leah was giving her money, like, paying everything for her, like, all her bills, doing this and doing that. And when, and when Leah couldn't do it no more, you know, because that's hard. Trying to take care of somebody else's household and taking care of your own, you know. So I understand. You know, but when the, when the money stopped, she quit letting her see the kids. Um, and hasn't let her see or talk to them or anything in several years. So she wants y'all to, what I was talking about last night, she wants y'all to pray, you know, and She'll be able to see her grandkids soon. She um, she loves them. You know, that's her grandbabies. You don't do that to someone. You just don't. Now I'm slowed down. Is that proper ventilation, y'all? Y'all think that's good? Maybe a few more holes over here. Just a little bigger. Hey, this is a good way to get your frustration out. If you're feeling frustrated, just take some the freaking scissors and grab a box. That's really a good way. It feels good. At least you ain't hurting nobody. You're just hurting a box. Box is already dead, so it's good. <sighs> Looks good to me. Okay. That looks scary, but satisfying. <laughs> okay, so lay down some newspaper. I don't have newspaper or cloth towels. Um, so that's what we're going to use. I don't, God bless, that's going to be thick. What if I use this? It goes around the bathroom toilet. It's dark. Well, it's clean. It's just stained. I would say it's dirty. I see a spot on the front. That's just dust. Just dust. But what what if you think this would help hold better humidity? It's washed. It ain't it, it ain't got no pee on it, I promise. And um or this. P pad. This is a P pad. Which one do you think will hold better humidity? Y'all, if this works, I'm gonna shit myself. I will be so happy. Even if it don't hatch them all and just hatches one, at least I know I've done something right, right? That sounded so effing satisfying. Good while I type my last message. <laughs> <laughs> I got I I'll have to I'll have to look for it. How how I do this? Which one you say? I get it entirely. The pee pad. You think the pee pad hold better humidity? Okay. Maybe if I curl it up like oh, it's gotta have ventilation. Why can't you be a little smaller? Here, I'll wrap you up one more time. And then, you have to turn these eggs three times a day, y'all. Y'all gonna have to help me keep up because it's about 17 days is what this is gonna take. Okay? So, y'all gonna have to help me keep up. I ain't shitting you. I shit. You're my favorite turds. Because it says 17 days of incubation. Well, this will be the start of incubation, right? Right, yeah. Do I need to turn it with the white side up? Lord, I ain't used one of these things. I don't know. This box might be too small. We might have to find a bigger box. Um... I got boxes over here. Hold on. Let's see here. Well, I'm going to use this box. Let me take out the wrapping. I save I save wrapping. I'm really weird. I save wrapping stuff. Um let me see. I think this box might be a little I don't no, I don't want to stab this box. I could use this box. I'm, I'm going to have to use this box. I've got to ship something out this week. 
I got a shirt out, a shirt and a cup in here. I can't use this box, but I need to save the wrapping. Hold on. The wrapping is so important to me. Hey! I'm basing to relax. Basing, Get it. Basing to relax. That's a fact. This about the same one size. Oh, this one's a little bit. I know, a little bit bigger on the inside. And I use this box instead. I apologize, y'all. We gotta change boxes. I need some tape. Hey, babe, you want this half food yourself, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds great. Because I'm just not feeling no food. Period. Yeah. I just ain't hungry. For yourself. Baby, do you know where we have any tape at? Oh, and he walked out the door. I know I had some tape. What's in here? This is Crocs. This is my some of my goodie bag. It's like Crocs side bandages. I keep it close because people are just crazy with hurting themselves. This is liquid band aid. These are butterflies. Y'all, I want to stitch somebody up. I thought I had at least some damn medical tape in here. I'll use that. It ain't no big. I had to wrap Ken's toe up the other day because his toenail fell off for some reason on his big toe. <clears throat> He's always got problems with his big toes. And here, I'll just do it this way. But, shit. He's always got problems with his toenail, especially on one of his feet. And his toenail gave out, y'all. Oh, I need to stab you. Oh, this is gonna be fun again. Oh, there it what baby? Four bugs. Uh, I just saw one of them uh, stink bugs. Look where it got that big pretty mater. See? No watch. See how pretty? Oh, he ate it. Mother. But y'all know I'm never prepared. She is, but she doesn't do so much these days. Sometimes wig and makeup videos. Arrow, use the wrench in a henchman voice. Nope, AR. Kenny, we need Nick to watch that video. Watch what video? One more side. Nick's got all her fingers. Scissors, chop, chop, chop. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> My arm gets tired. I regret it. What are you doing? Whoop. Hey, y'all. It's Kenzie. I think there's a shit on me. Will you go on? Oh, sorry. No. Please. No. Please. No. Why? One second, y'all.
Okay. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Man, it's gonna have to be a little. Does the white side go up or the pink? Y'all like the white or the pink? <laughs> which, which side goes up? Maybe it's the white, because the white feels like that's what holds moisture. But the pink would be more decorative. But it's just for I felt it in my soul. Out. Oh, okay. That's what I did. I changed it around. <sighs> it's harder than I thought not having the right. Well, just getting it to fit, I think, is the hard. <laughs> hardest part. <laughs> what? Huh? Y'all, can I come show them? He boiled. He made some boiled eggs. He's making the vinegar eggs for them little bitty eggs. I don't want to touch it. My hands ain't clean. Yeah. Look how little that little bitty egg is that he just boiled. <laughs> You apologize for what? You hit the good stuff too hard. Who, me? Not me. Wait. Is it just me? We aren't muted. Hey, or I've been talking to you. What are you talking about? No, I ain't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why are you apologizing, you goofhead? Yo, I'm scared to open this. I don't know. I'm used to the indica, and I can't remember how um, sativa made me feel. So I'm a little nervous, but okay. Anyway, so here's our little eggs. Let me get them out. These are the ones I'm going to hatch. You see them? Let me see. I don't want to open it. <laughs> These are our hatching eggs, hopefully. Do you know where my phone is? It's in the floor. I've been stepping on it. Um... Um, yes, y'all. This is, um, y'all, I'm so sorry. This is, let me be professional, because I'm supposed to be professional, right? I'm just kidding. Um, y'all think that's all, that'd be all right, and just having the heat lamp up here? How do you tell the temperature? Do y'all, do y'all know a way to tell the temperature without an infrared thermometer? Can you stick like a normal temperature thing up to it, like a human thing, and get the um, degrees of it, you think? Oh, this is definitely a hybrid. Way more on the indica. What? See, I like indica, but I'm not. This says sativa, but I ain't. we're going to try it. Oh, yeah, let me finish. Y'all see, I done got distracted again. What am I doing? I lay down some newspaper cloth towels to the bottom of the box. Continue by placing your lamp in the box, prefer preferably using a lamp that has a bendable neck. So they want something that's like this. Okay? I, I'm going to use a heat lamp. But y'all tell me if you think a heat lamp be all right or should i just find the damn go to the store find a deep box because when they unpack up here at the dollar store you can go up there and get boxes that's where i get my boxes <laughs> um I, I feel like a it says lay down some news i done read this five times continue by placing your lamp in the box preferably using a lamp that has a bendable neck place your quilt eggs on the cloth towels or newspaper Allowing enough space between each egg. 
bringing the lamp closer to the surface of the quail eggs. So the surface will be the top showing, right? Maintaining the shell surface temperature to 100 degrees. You should use a thermometer for accurate reading and be sure to check the temperature daily. Okay. Then it says, okay, place your quail eggs on the cloth towels or did I screenshot this twice? Allowing enough space, you should use a thermometer. Using a misting bottle, spray some water onto the surface of the quail eggs. You should retain 45 to 55% of humidity in the box for the first two weeks and 50% to 65% of humidity in the last days. Do not overspray or wet the cloth towels more than necessary. You can even, it says you can use heating pads and hand warmers too instead of a lamp if you want to. I do have a heating pad. What if I just put it between the, I don't, I don't, ah. Despite needing, rotate the eggs three times daily. You may stop rotating the eggs on the final day before the expected hatching day. Despite needing a lot more patience and effort, hatching your quail eggs in a makeshift incubator is the safest as you can control the environment as you require. Quail eggs regularly take 16 to 25 days to hatch, depending on the breed of quail eggs you have. I say day, day 17, what I read on other things, it was for quail, it, maybe it's these type, but it's 17 days. But you can give them up to 25 or something. And we can also somehow hold it up in a lot at so many weeks, and we'll be able to see the baby in there, y'all. It's a, a, a candler, a candler. I'm going to get one of those one day so we can see the babies. I wonder if I can see them now. Uh, what kind of light do you, does it, it can't be just a normal light? I think I am too. See, that's what I'm nervous about. And I'm also nervous. I get nervous with um, the heat lamps too. What if something catches on fire? Okay, y'all, we're, we're about to put these quail eggs in here. Oh, do I close the box up? It didn't say that. That's why I'm wondering, does it need to be a deeper box somehow? I don't have a deeper box. Uh, we're, we're just going to have to roll with it. So one egg here. One egg here. No, don't roll on me. One egg here. This is the egg I got today, I think. Like y'all can see it. One egg here. I have a red light. I have a red light. Does that work? <laughs> I was scared to use it. On this. It's an LED. Red light. I said red. Not lead. I didn't say lead. I said red. Did I say, he said ask y'all. Did I say lead? Or did I say red lead or red i said red i don't know i said red uh, no don't row into each other y'all can't be doing all that now i need to set you flat i need to too bad i can't keep them inside this that's cute ain't it i don't know i'll show y'all a lot Oh, let's see. I got this hanger here. If you come and mess with my eggs, we're going to have a problem, bro. What you want? Uh, what are you doing? Really? So you're going to come growl at me? I'm not even touching you. Get away from me. Cage! 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 Next stop, the dog pound. Um, here it is. Here's this one. I'll show it to you. Oh 
Oh, I just turned off the light for y'all. Oh, well. I'll, I gotta unplug it for a minute anyway so I can use this cord. I hope my light still works. This is what I used to revive that light or that little bird that was in our garden. Yeah, it's red. That little bird that was in our garden hiding and we didn't know. And he was watering the garden and it soaked the bird. And so I brought the bird in. It's just a little shit. But. Hello. 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 I don't want to talk to you either, Ben. Um. But that I heat, I warmed it back up and dried it because it was so wet. And then it it actually hung on to me for a while after that. Like I couldn't get it. I got pictures of it on the back of my shirt. It wouldn't fly off of me for nothing. I don't know if it was just telling me it's thank yous or what the hell was going on. But it, it thought I was maybe it's mama for a minute because <laughs> I warmed it back up. I don't know. It was so cute, though. I just walked around with it in a towel for a while and then put There's it in the box. There's my first jar of garlic pickled quail eggs. Y'all, he just made garlic pickled quail eggs. One dozen. One dozen. <laughs> you don't like them? I don't know if I like them or not. I ain't never tried it. I ain't never ate a quail egg. That's what I'm nervous about. Let's go right here. Because they're just so little and tiny. Okay, I gotta quit messing with them. We need a spray bottle, y'all. Babe, do we have a spray bottle with just water? I don't know what you need for me, man. I got a bottle, but it's full of bleach. I said I got this spray bottle, but it's full of bleach. It's, I think it's. It's probably that I ain't eating through my bottle. Yeah, that's bleach. How much does one person need? Not a lot. Put your finger in my booty hole. Okay. Y'all. I'm going to keep these warm while we're here. I am let. I found a Windex bottle. So I got it soaking. Because it, it was basically empty. It only had just a drop left. So it was. Um, I got it soaking. And I'm going to wash it pretty good. And use that for water to spray on my eggs. You've never heard of quail egg either? Uh, late night snacks. I've heard they're pretty similar in taste to chicken eggs, but the yolk to white ratio. Oh, uh, yeah. I say these are probably mostly yolk. I don't. I don't know. I guess we'll know one day. Boy, I should you know. I just thought the egg was moving. I was like, oh, this egg's moving. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> what if I just seen these eggs? What if them chickens could roll around in eggs just like humans do and stuff? And I like the eggs just roll around. <laughs> I ain't never hatched no damn eggs. I don't know what I'm doing. I just, I know y'all gotta be warm. Why can't I put a stuffed animal on it and just act like that's the mother and it keep it warm? Can I not the stuffed animal can't regulate its body heat, What if I open the stuffed animal and put in a heating pad and made it regulate its body because heat that the way? Heating pad can't regulate the stuffed animal's body heat, Nicole. 
Well, it can regulate the eggs. Oh, my God. If you put it on there. <laughs> so, I'm going to have this box, and I'm going to have this hanging. But I feel like these need to be all closer together a little bit. I, I don't know. Oh. You hush it. Oh. This is going to be hard. But we're going to make it happen. I, I feel like I need to tape the sides up like that. See, I have my other heat lamp in there, and it's got a clamp on it. Oh, shit. I'll finish this in a little bit. I have to get it set up. That's hard to sit down. Um, it's got a clamp on it, and that's what I like. But it's in there with the baby chicks, so I can't take it. Y'all know that one little shit still ain't growing? God. God. I don't. Y'all can't. There. I think they need oxygen, and maybe a stuffy would prevent that. But ain't that the same thing as a damn chicken? Because the chicken don't really get off of them. The whole time. When a chicken goes broody, that bitch goes broody. Like she ain't coming off them eggs. You better put some food and water in there for her because she ain't moving. I feel like I need to hang this somewhere. I don't know. I'll just hold it for a little bit. I gotta keep them warm. And I gotta get some water sprayed on them. What if I put a paper towel over top of them? Y'all, if we hatch eggs, this is going to be amazing. But I just, I have a feeling I ain't doing something right. But that's just me. You never know unless you try. And I ain't done. I've got to get it set up right in a room. Um, It'll have to be... I don't know which room yet. Probably the laundry room. Or I can take it upstairs. It gets pretty hot upstairs. The upstairs stays really, really hot. But the chicken. <laughs> that would be cool watching the eggs just roll around because the little chickens in there are just trying to get comfy in the womb, you know. I'd fucking shit myself. And we're going to check on these three times a day. And whenever they start hatching, I'm going to just somehow put a live cam on and let y'all watch it. I don't know how you do that, but I'm going to let y'all watch the hatching process if I it happens. Just the feeling that they're not going to hatch. You have a feeling they're not going to hatch? Wow. Okay, it's not a sneaky suspicion. I'm almost certain. You're almost certain? Yeah. You don't got faith in me? I have faith in you, just not, not your uh, your idea of what you're doing. Oh. Well, at least I'm trying. It's better than not you trying. Know what I would have done? What? I would have looked at the schematics of a incubator. See what all they have going on? It's water and heat. It's humidity and heat. How about the air? Well, you poke holes in the box. for pro uh, There's holes in the box for proper ventilation. You're not supposed to blow air in there with it? Blow air in No. You ain't blowing air in there. Well, then how come the ones that... Um, well, that's because they're closed up and they have to have an airflow. But this box isn't completely closed up. They got airflow. Okay. Right. 
Where did you get the eggs? Um, the place, one of them laid the egg today, but the place where um, we got the quail at yesterday is where we also got the eggs. And she said they're hatchable. So, listen, it's, I think, four in four days is when, when you, now I'm going to have to look up how to do a homemade candler. Can't wait. Hi. How do you see through these eggs? I can't. You want to get warm, honey? Mom will take care of you. Don't worry. We'll get you out of there. Nice. I just tune in and, girl, you're going to sit like for weeks. Good arm strength. <laughs> I was trying to set this basket up. I was thinking, well, what if I just for now until I get it to a room? Because I don't know where I'm. I'm thinking upstairs, but I don't like going upstairs. And I'd have to go up there three times a day to take care of them. I don't think that's for me. So I think it's probably going to go in my room. No, my room gets really cold. Maybe in here. Maybe I'll keep it up here on my desk in the winter. And we'll get something and we'll hang this down. It'll be hanging like that over the eggs. And we'll learn how we can check. We'll Google and learn how we can also check the eggs temperature without an infrared thermometer. Right? Yes, Lilas. <laughs> it's I think I'm gonna do it. Even if it's just one that comes out of it, it's gonna I will feel um you know great that I done something. It might not work for, what if not all is fertilized? I don't know what's fertilized in here, what I shit, I don't know how long the eggs have been sitting out either. But we're we're gonna try it. 17 days, but give them up to about 25 days. But around the 17th day is whenever it's going to happen. Now, with the big chickens, it's usually around the 21st day when they start um, hatching. But I don't know. I guess I don't know how long those that ladies have these eggs inside of this, but they've been outside. It ain't going to hurt me to try it, though. Right? I know, April, it's been so long since you've been over here, honey. How are you doing? We're trying to make a homemade incubator and hatch some eggs. This one will be a brown. One of the brownies. I got some Bob, I think, one or two Bob White eggs, I believe, I have in here, too. And he's really wanting some Bob Whites. And there was some Bob White eggs in this thing. So that lady wouldn't get rid of her none of her Bob Whites. But we did get some eggs. So, And he accidentally cooked one of them. I'm telling y'all, this egg just moved. Maybe, uh, I think it's every time I bump the table, it just kind of wiggles them. <laughs> I'm losing it watching them. I'm, I'm hoping for something, I guess. So this this gonna be a long while. And you said the red is the best light to have on them, cause I have. Well, this one was a regular kitchen, like a regular light for a, you know, it wasn't a heat light. I was just gonna try to use it. <laughs> They're getting warm. Y'all want to go with me into the kitchen so I can wash this bottle, so we can get some water on them. And I need to figure out how to get the box sides to stay up. I'll, I'll use my, I'll use something. I don't care. I'll figure it out. My basket's moving around. This is what I was hiding my eggs in <laughs> so, that, so they wouldn't get gone. <laughs> I was like, no. I, first, I just had two inside this glove right here. But he let me get some more today. And add to it because I really want to do this. Let me see here. Come here, you little rascals. 
Can you sit right here for me? I'm afraid you're going to fall and bust the eggs open, though. Oh, man. This is so out of hand. Like she has a restaurant. Wonder if I could sell my eggs. They pickled, they old. <laughs> hey, you can go ahead. Sell sell them ten dollars a thing. Pick them. That's what people, I guess, buy quail eggs for. I gotta we, we're gonna have to go make the water. This is getting hot and I burnt myself once and I ain't trying to keep doing it and it smells like fire like heat no i don't want to lay listen this is going to burn something i am from baltimore city federal hill area it's a baltimore thing the lady needs to lay off the crack a -lacking. i gotta run sis i miss your face oh you take care of yourself honey thank you for stopping by I'm about to go wash this water bottle finally so I can spray the eggs with some water and get the humidity going. And who knows what else we're going to have to do. I'm, please don't roll off. That's all I ask. Just stay right there. Don't roll off. You'll be fine. I promise. Okay, we're going to go. Oh, shit. We're going to go. Ugh. And we're going to wash this stupid bottle. Is this hot? Oh, it is hot. The sun ain't hot. Be the fun you are. I still hear y'all. I could have pointed y'all this way, huh? It'd be all right. Let's see, I gotta spray this clean. It'd suck if I sprayed Windex on them, wouldn't it? Yeah, bless America. So for humidity, do y'all think I need to use cold water in the bottle or warm water? Because I feel like that warm water would just, or is cold water what helps with the humidity? I don't know. I always call people honey. Then my kids and hubby I call honey. Maybe it's the northern north line. I gotta run, sis. I gotta run. Hi, all. Hey, Glam. Hey, get this. We watched a walking tour of Thailand and street food. Chantel was in same area, but not that night. Son of a gun. I almost got her on there. I wish she'd step in that hole. <laughs> I don't know if that's the same area you're talking about, but I wish she would have stepped. Room tip? Okay. Hopefully I can get all the Windex residue or I put soap in it. Hell, I don't, you don't never know anymore. I've used, I've done this before. I'll just clean up bottles and just use them when I need a spray bottle. Because hell it's worth. It's the same. You just got to clean them real good. Make sure you, there ain't a residue in there or nothing. Yes, pull it up. Definitely. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. Y'all, I, I ain't even got to try my vape yet. And y'all, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all some of my little personnel. Um, I almost didn't go live today, but I feel better right now talking with y'all. Like, I felt like shit all day, all day. I was pissing out my a-ho, okay, all morning. <laughs> and I felt sick. Everything was gagging me, everything. I, I just felt so sick. I was gagging at everything. But whatever the hell the human centipede is, um, I was hearing about that this morning, and I was, I about puked everywhere. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. I've never seen it. Don't want to see it. Okay. I think it's good enough clean, y'all, so now we're going to get, oh, that's hot. Shit. We're going to get some room water temperature, like 
Arrow, I believe it was Arrow. I apologize if I just said the wrong name. But, oh, that's not Rune. That's Code. Come on, Nick. She said Rune, not Code. Rune. You feel like Rune to me. You feel like a pool. Pool water. That'd be kind of cool. I feel like it's room temperature. I don't think I put too cold. I added a mixture. Pimp, pump. <laughs> I'm so stupid. TMI. I'm telling you, every time I turn around, I was pissing out. My A. I, I was outside with the dogs squeezing my butt cheeks because I my belly was rumbling. And it was first thing this morning. And I was, like, trying to get the dogs in, and the dogs wasn't wanting to come in. And I was like, screw this. Like, if you run off or something, I'm going to have to come back out and find you because I'm about to chip myself. Okay? <laughs> oh, no, not the human. Uh, well, my, where at Azul, <laughs> my sister called me this morning. And that's where I learned it from. And then one of my chitlins was because I had her on speaker, was talking about how she's seen it. Where she's seen it at, I don't know. She said somebody's educational. I don't want to watch it. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Who? Ha, oh. We need to take the sides of this box somehow. Hold on. I have some tumbler tape. And what we'll do is we're going to wrap it around this area to keep some air circulation going up top. We got the hose in the box. All the hose. Let's see. That's a little dusty fine. Y'all can tell I don't give a hell. I, I don't dust all the time. That shit ain't for me. If ain't nobody like it and see something, then come do it your damn self. <laughs> so, yes, my tape is dusty. Cause I don't care. Oh, this one's new. I don't want to. Well, I ain't got much of a choice at this moment. I need to get my eggs taken care of. Nope. I've read about it. And that's all. Yes. The things I heard this morning. Oh, my God. It's awful, Nick. Don't. I, I won't. I refuse. It was gagging me hearing about it. Like, how can you do that? And I was like, is this real? Like, was it real or was it fake? And they said it was real. Or the other quails too young to maybe sit. Quails do not go broody. It is very rare for a quail to go broody. So you have to hatch the eggs. The quails do not hatch the eggs. Um, you can't if you have a now a regular hen, you know, on the, a big chicken, then you can. That's broody. Then you can try. To slip one of the eggs under it, but these eggs are so little, I'm afraid they get broke. And I don't have none of my hens are broody, so we're just gonna do it this way. We're homemade, and if it don't work, at least I gave it a shot. You know what I mean? I don't care. At least I'm trying. Okay, we got we got the sides up now. I think I just wrapped it all backwards. The tape on the outside but um that's fine we'll just wrap it around one more time with this tape sticking to the box what the hell did i just do oh my god i can't homemade homemade accidentally done like the sticky side of the tape outwards oh well I, I give so separate the eggs a little bit away from each other you need to spray them and I guess that's enough spray right and then you And then you just flip them three times a day. So what I do is I'll do it when I wake up. I'll do it right after lunch. Well, probably about 2 o'clock. 
and then I'll flip them again before I go to bed. But yeah, it's uh, it's different when it comes to quail. Like you have to be the one to do it. I wish they hatched them. But I'm telling y'all, I promise y'all, I'm going to get me like a little quail sidekick thing going because I, I think it's pretty amazing. And they're so precious. They, they sing to you. But a lot of people that live in homes, uh, like in the city and stuff, well, you, they can't have chickens. Like they, Well, they can only have so many chickens. And then on top of that, they can only have, uh, they can't have a rooster. Well, with the quail, the quail doesn't sound like a rooster, you know, like a normal rooster would. It makes this little silly noise, like it's gurgling on something. And it's just like real quick. Um, so, and it's not loud at all. So it's, a lot of people are getting quail because of that. So, I think I, I think it'd be like a good side, what do you call it? Like a side gig, like a side job. I don't, I don't know what you call it, but with the price of eggs, I don't even have them in my house. Only eggs are, Liz, do you have a Walmart? Do you have a Walmart? We found, um, we seen some of their eggs for like a dog, the Walmart brand. They were a dollar or something. They, they went down where I live in certain stores. Now they do still have some that's priced way up there, but oh, mine and they're pickled. So you like you love pickled eggs, don't you? I need to know where to put this light. I was gonna hang it on that picture frame up there, but I just it ain't gonna work out. I'm gonna have to really put it somewhere. And I don't want to put it nowhere it might get hurt. It would be so cool if one popped out twins. I haven't been shopping. I hate shopping for anything. Yeah, I don't like shopping either, but here it's a have to. So if I didn't have to, I would. Oh, your ovaries. Shit for damn. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh. Okay, y'all, we're go we're going to walk to the kitchen real quick. Hold on, let me unplug this. Shit! Come on now, work with me, ho. Ow! You burnt me, you stupid son of a gun. Okay, um, here, I, I'm not carrying my eggs with y'all, I'm carrying the light, and then we'll come back, and we will get the eggs, and I know what I'm going to do, la la la, it's my paper, plate holder let me go get the eggs okay here's the babies Hell, they roll around because they're so tiny. I can't keep them where I want them. I try to separate them away from each other a little bit, you know, because they got to breathe. Ah! 
the hell they're going to have brain damage by the time I'm done with them. They're rolling around. Ow, I just burnt my damn hand. Please just sit right there. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Now, I want to, there's a couple in here. There's some that's pointy, some that's round. And I have a feeling, and I want to know if it's true, if the round ones, well, people say this with big chickens, but I don't think it's true. They say the rounder eggs are most likely hens. And the, hey, Kenny, the car window. The car window, it's raining. Y'all, one uh -huh. second. Uh, is it the car window or the? The car window. Here. Why are you doing that? I didn't, I didn't do it. Watch out. You can't go out the road, so. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come here, mommy. Come sit with mama. Come on, big boy. Make a holder for the light to hang. I hung it on the paper plate. Paper. I'll show you. Hold on. Ah! Shit, I'm knocking everything. I really need to get this room done in here. Because it's just a mess. But see, I hung it on the paper towel or the paper plate holder thing. I just feel like it. that thing gets hot. I don't know if it's going to get over 100 degrees. That's what they need to be is 100. I don't want to cook them. <laughs> oh, I guess I could plug y'all back up now. That, that light's gone. I'll turn the light back on for you. God almighty. I'm getting too old for this God bless abandoned shit. Let's see if I can get it to work now. This light is weird. And ever since I dropped it, it's, it's had its problems too. I, I gave it some damage too, I reckon. I drop everything. Everything. Ooh, let me turn that shit down. I look like I got, I got a glow on my forehead. Phew. Still. I'm forever Mac... MacGyver, MacGyver and something forever. What's wrong? Ugh. But yeah, what is today's date? The 5th. So, at day 14 is whenever I stop turning the eggs. It says you want to stop turning them about three days before they hatch. Because they get into some kind of hatching position. And once they're in that position, they need to be in that position so they don't struggle hatching. Boy, if I see one struggling hatching, I know it says, you don't be careful, don't help them, blah, blah, blah. Well, I ain't letting it suffer. I'm going to gently somehow get that eggshell off of it. And I guess I'll use this box if I find any more eggs. If this works. I don't know. I'll use another. I'll get another light. Red light. You'll leave the light on for us. <laughs> hey, them Motel 6s, I tell you. What's wrong? My dogs are weird. Y'all yeah, want to go see the quail in a minute? Well, it's raining. Y'all want to go outside in the rain and play? If I was in the mood, 
and my stomach wasn't doing what it's been doing today, and it rained enough, I would go wrestle in the fucking mud out there. I love playing in the mud. Have mud fights and shit. We do that sometimes when we go to the lake. We'll start grabbing mud and just slinging it at each other, but it's like inside the lake under there. I can't wait either. I hope it works. I know it's if it doesn't work, it's basically I wasted eggs, blah, blah, blah. But they're going to have more eggs. And we got more of those eggs in there. So I think it'll be okay. Right? Yeah. I just don't want to cook them. I don't want to cook them. I hope they hatch because I'm afraid I'm going to get them too hot and they're going to cook in there. And I'm going to, like, have some boiled eggs. <laughs> But, like, lamp boiled eggs. Watch, uh, Sala might show up. Oh, hell no. Hell no, Sala ain't coming here. You like playing in the rain, too? Me, too. Listen, so I'm going to save this because it's got a little bit of oil on the bottom still. But I'm about to try this sativa and see what it does to me. Horse poop? Yes, that would be so much fun. I don't know. Yeah. I got a feeling you're probably gonna have to separate that little Delaware chicken from the, the rest of them before he'll start growing. Because they're not letting him. They're probably not letting him eat. I watched him eat though. Know? Well, I, I don't know. I, that little chick that I have to clean its butt. It's still not growing, y'all. Did you put any apple cider vinegar in there? Not today, I didn't. You talking about the baby chicks? Yeah. No, not today. I only did that once with them. I, you got to be real careful with that at their age. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Amy. Amy. Well, the only other thing. Is give it some of these probiotics and stuff. I don't know. You got the probiotic stuff. I mean, maybe something. Maybe he's just. You know, humans have midgets. Maybe he's just a midget chicken. Yeah. Because I, I don't know. He just ain't growing. I sh oh, I that one that. chick I showed y'all. Out of all them chicks we got. It ain't growing. I clean its butt. I've seen it eat. I've seen it drink. If it didn't eat or drink, it'd be dead by now. What, baby? Um, I have a question. It's not One to, second, y'all. One second. Um. Yeah, because the Jersey Giants look half the size they were yesterday. Bigger. <laughs> okay. Sorry, y'all. We're going to try this sativa and see what it does. What's it going to do? Because I like indica. Is it going to like, make me fly? Because it says the flying D. I ain't got no D, but I could put it there and swing it around. Um, why does it look kind of empty fied? Who just blew their horn? He could be the runt. Puff's the runt. She's year and a half. Huh. I'm going to get him to let y'all see him again. Hold on. That burns. Why does it burn? Green cracker.
This one burns when it hit my throat. I'm still, oh, it's okay, it's okay. You deal with that baby. Girl, that's, a Tiva makes me hyper. I get like, oh, uh, see, that's why I don't. See, I'm a, I like that indigo, whatever it's called stuff. See, I don't like it when my anxiety gets high. Mm -mm. I'll just take two hits for now. It burns your throat, though. That one does. Terpenes, please, a row two. The purple terpenes are usually best for me. See, I like the grape ape indica one. That's my favorite. But Kenny doesn't know the difference. So when he, and I don't ever go get them. He always picks them up. <laughs> I want to, I'm going to go get him and let y'all see him. Hold on. It's a hard life for us. It's a hard Chicken Look at him. Look at him. He ain't gonna die for me holding him. I've held him several times. I've been a dick. Oh, you just bought five. Oh, Grape Ape is my favorite. 64 Sunrise. Huh. Hi, honey. Okay, Mom's going to go put you back. I'll be right back. And say hi. Hey. Hey, Sam, I am. My mama says no, that's what she means. <sighs> Got it from no, they're hatching. No, they're not. Leave them alone. It's an indicator to the hybrid, but leans. Oh, wow. He is cute, or she ain't. The, the little shit ain't growing. The others are huge. I don't, I don't know. He keeps saying I should probably separate it, but chicks, they don't do good by themselves. You know what I mean? Nicole, I just heard one peep. Come what? Huh? What? Huh? But anyway, what time are you going live, Carlotta? Do you know? No, don't. I, mm -mm. I won't. I refuse to. Because if it wasn't, if they weren't letting it eat anything, it wouldn't, it would have done been dead. And it runs around with them just fine. I've seen it eat. It's just the runt, I guess. It's just going to be little. If it's a boy, I'll name it Big Ed. 
okay? If it's a boy. Carla, what time are you going live? Nine? Okay, it's six now. We're just having a fin for yourself, not tonight for supper, because I don't even want to eat today. Not after pissing on my ass the way I did this morning, all morning. Oh, my stomach has just been tore up, tore up from the floor up. I thought I had shit running down my legs. <laughs> Sam's eating. I love watching when they eat. I don't know why. I think it's because sometimes I'm afraid they're not eating. But I leave food in their bowls at all times. They always have food in their bowls. And if I find like that the bowl's empty, I'll put more food in it. Just because I'm always afraid what if one didn't get enough. That's just me. I get in trouble for it all the time. You feeding them too much? No. I'm not. They If they're hungry, they have the choice to go do it. To go eat it. That's just how I am. I know some people have theirs on schedules. Mine's not on schedule. They eat whenever they want. <laughs> but I gotta go in here and check on my guinea pigs too. Y'all wanna see Olaf? Let me put my cigarette out. I won't hold them while oh, I'm smoking. Hold on. Where's my alcohol? Okay. I gotta clean my hands. I'm weird. I'm afraid it's going to hurt them or something. Or I was going to get Ace, but he keeps running from me. Ace, the guinea pig. Y'all know my dog's name is, one of their names is Ace too, but the guinea pig, the hairless one, he keeps running from me. And he runs into, he'll run and run. I don't, wanna, I don't like chasing him. Olaf, he sits there and waits to be held. He's the only one that loves being held. So let me go get him. Hi, Sam, I am. You'll get your belly full. I'm coming to pet the critters. Yeah, there's four gu guinea pigs. The two girls I won't pick up because they're so scared still. Um, but he loves it. Say, I love it. Sam, will you go on? You ain't getting him. Go. Now. <laughs> hey, Olaf. Hi, buddy. Look what I got. You want some food? You want some food? No? Taste it. Taste it. And he says you're crazy. Beep. The hell out of my face. Look, what's this one? You want this one? No? You want any of them? Look, there's different ones. He don't know. He's like, um, I'm not eating while you're holding me. He loves being held. He does. He's a little cuddle bug. Ain't you a lot? See, I's a big boy. See, I's a big boy. See, I love. I love. He reminds me of Reese. Even though Reese was a different color than him, he's so sweet and cuddly like Reese was. I love them. If I can catch Ace, I don't I don't like him running from me the way he does, but if I can catch him, I'll bring him out here for y'all one day. I mean I do hold him, but it's just a, a job getting him. And I don't like scaring him. 
What's this piece? And the try that one? No. Okay. But yeah, he's he's just a big baby. Yeah, just a big baby. He still gets, I think, even though he loves being held, I think he still gets nervous because he don't know us as well still. But he's amazing. See, I said, oh, he's licking me. I got, I poured alcohol on my hands. Don't lick me too much. See, that's what Reese would do. Reese would lick us and everything. It breaks my heart. I miss Reese. We still have his little memorial thing back there <laughs> you want to cuddle in the blankie they love hiding in blankets and stuff but y'all i reckon i'm gonna let y'all go so y'all can all probably about y'all supper time too and i don't want to you know distract anybody from their families or nothing like that or anything hi baby Hi, baby. It's a good boy. <laughs> if Kenny would let me, I'd sleep with him. I'd be like, oh. <laughs> but okay, y'all. I love y'all, and thank y'all for being here. And we'll catch, we'll keep an eye on them eggs. Um, I'm gonna have to Google a way to tell the temperature on the eggs because I don't want to cook them. They need to be a hundred degrees, and that's it. So. Ed Earl and Littles has made all. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, okay. he lives under his chin being scratched. <laughs> Dad's a big boy. Oh. Okay, hon. Okay, I'll. You said you're going live at nine. That, that's fine, even if it's sooner. <laughs> no, I don't know what I got to do next. I probably got to go look for more eggs after the rain stops. And then I need to go out here and check on my quail again. See if they've laid any more. And then probably find a better spot for my eggs. <sighs> and I need, to, I, do, I need to clean. I need to sweep my living room. I need to do dishes. And I think that's all I want to do today. <laughs> but thank y'all. I appreciate y'all for being here. Seriously, I love all y'all with all my heart. And never think y'all are alone, you know. Shit. We're all just a big fam here. If y'all need anything, you know, just let somebody know. and Or, hell, let all of us know. We're here for you. You know, you need to talk or anything. Okay, okay. You're welcome, babe. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm tired feeling. I just ain't felt good, but it, it has felt good being getting on here and talking with y'all. I've got one of my kids are mad at me right now, but she'll get over it. Rolls are rolls, so. All right, I love y'all, and I'll talk to y'all later. Mwah. Oh, and please hit that like button, y'all. Please. only I mean, if you want to. You don't got to, but okay. <laughs> I can't see the faces, Carlotta. So, on my end, I can't see the faces. It'll say, like, green eyes, mouth. I, I don't know. It says all kinds of things when you, when you do, like, faces a lot of times. Oh, I see this face, though. It showed up. <laughs> But when you do certain emojis, for some reason, they don't show them to me. But I love y'all, and I will um, I will talk to y'all very soon. We're going to go hang out in the living room for a minute, and then I'll sweep. Okay, I love y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs>